Hang on, I just seen Blackwood drop some shit, bro. Oh, nah, bro. Oh, nah, bro. Already, bro? It's only been like two days. Envious. 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 This man, Blockwork. Blockwork, he is a, not not attention grabber. He he is attention grabber, but like he makes the most out of every situation. Whenever something happens, he's opportunistic. Isn't it? No. I don't know, bro. I'm using big words. I don't even know the meaning to. But like he makes the most of every opportunity. I think it's opportunistic. I don't know, bro. Bro, how you gonna feel about Nike Tech's with jeans, bro? Like, I'm a big believer in you gotta wear the whole sweat. You gotta wear the whole fit, like sweats and everything. Like, it's a sweatsuit. You gotta wear the whole sweatsuit. Like, you feel me? But it's also like if you wearing just the sweats, I think you can wear you can wear something else, like with like a t-shirt or something different. But when you have just a hoodie, it just don't look right with jeans. So, so now like he's saying naughty bop or whatever that's what that's an unreleased song by kyle rich that he got wait is it called naughty bop it's called naughty something but so did, did he have this song already recorded in a music video ready he was just waiting for the right time for it to be done and then he was gonna and then he was gonna like start the beef saying, Hey, so stop talking on Naughty. And then once like Tata and D Bill's bit for the bait, he decided to keep going back and forth with them. And now he's in Brooklyn saying, Oh, I'm in Brooklyn. I'm sanctioned in Brooklyn. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Was that all a part of his plan? Or did it just happen and he happened to have the song ready or he went to the studio and it's just, he just shot, he just, he just went to the studio the night it happened. The next day he recorded the video and then the next day he got it back. Uh, that don't sound right, bro. It sounds like it would take more than 24 hours to record and edit a video. I don't, yeah, I know. I know. I don't know if you just see how I, I didn't even listen to that part. I just heard about the Naughty Bob situation. But um, he might be, bro. Because I know Blackwood and see how pops. They it was going back and forth for a while, but I'm really confused now, bro. But it's, it's, hang on, it's, it's also crazy that you can say you're 401k, but you was just fucking with him like a day ago, and then you were saying you're smoking on D Bill's mom's or whatever that passed away. Rest in peace to her. But it's like, bro, you was just cool with him, and now you're smoking it. Like, bro, like I, I hate how that shit goes. He said that Kenzo ain't smoking on no DOA deads. He did say that. I forgot about that. He say he say you don't got no beef with no DOA members or nothing. I ain't never seen you in the streets, so why would I have beef with you? That's what he said. He says, Shy G's, where the fuck is your tooth? Where he did see I at? This video fire though, I ain't gonna lie. Blackwork is funny, bro. Blackwork really like 
he know what he doing, bro. He know what he doing. Like, I, I really think he had this shit planned out from the start, bro, to drop this song after what happened with him in 4-1. I really think that, bro. I really think he was ready. He was just, like, waiting for the right time. Hey, I got the video back. Let's start it up. I'm going to post this. Like, bro. Nah, bro. I put... This shit crazy, bro. And this shit fire, though. I ain't going to lie. The visuals is fire in it. In the um, song, like you're not doing a deep voice shit, he not doing none of that. It's fine. Yeah, I I don't I don't know where you said you was just a CI. I I I didn't before he said he can't do any R.I. I'm not even dumping this shit. Yeah. Finger itching, I'm dumping my butt. Yeah. Kill the G nigga, never this shit. Yeah. Fake pose, y'all showing in vids. Yeah. Watch out, sliding, I know where you live. Yeah. No knock, whole six, ain't got the window, but I won't miss. Yeah. Bro, he's talking crazy. Envious. Did I miss it? Was he was it like when he was talking shit at the beginning? I was cute, bitch I'm a slob with a deuce. Watch he's this not juice. Hop over gates, then I shoot. They just be pussy, they tough in a booth. The fuck is the okay, these niggas jokes never did nothing but this on bro. Like, like, fuck it. I got the low. I'm not a grip, but I fuck with my loss. Everybody die like, better pick a side like. If you got no ride like, but through a block and I'm making a highlight like. Damn, I'm dropping a four and I'm dropping a five. See how I'm a nigga die. Oh, nah. Fuck it, can't send him to his box. Nah, you was right. I didn't even hear that at the beginning. Oh, nah, we had to dissect that. Wow. That's crazy. That's really crazy for real now. But I know, I know D-Way in general, they not like all the way clipped up and super close with each other. So it's like, you feel me? Kenzo and TG, they from the 5th, which that's like not even close to where 187 is. Seth's side of that. But it's like, damn, bro, like. Y'all on the same boat, and he's dissing him, and he's only dissing him probably because of his father or whatever, which is crazy. Because he said within the in the IG live with um after Naughty died, Black we're gonna see how his was in the same lab. He was like, "Me personally, I never ditch your son. I would never ditch your son because I didn't know him." And now you look like a hypocrite because you just dissed him for whatever reason. You didn't know him, you never seen him, but you're smoking on him like or. You disrespected him because he patted like, bro, that shit is just lame as fuck to me, bro. Like, that's what I really, like, noticed about this Bronx Joe shit. The more, like, the more time goes on, the more corny I see a lot of droppers become, bro. Like, they smoking on people they didn't even know that passed away 10, 11 years ago. But they didn't know at all, bro. They only knew it because they big homie told them about him. Like, bro, this shit, like, shit like this be lame as fuck, bro. Like, the whole, like, the way drill culture is right now... Because of TikTok and everything, like I see, I, I, I don't be, I don't have TikTok. But I see motherfuckers screenshot and TikToks, like I don't know, bro. It just be super corny to me. People in the comments and shit, bro. Like I feel like with the Bronx, bro, about a whole bunch of like other extra bullshit and people that don't even know what they're talking about. That I don't know, bro. Shit's just corny to me, bro. But this is a good song though, regardless of whatever he's talking about. It was good visuals, and this really goes to show that these drivers are really smarter than what they think. Block work is opportunistic. EBK, yeah, Black, yeah, he EBK for real, bro. Black were kind of blackball from going up because of them snitch allegations, and most Joe fans don't even know he ain't snitch as a fact. And he's getting blackballed because he don't fuck with 4 1, he don't fuck with the fuck with Corlin or OYS. Those are like the three biggest groups right now. Respectfully, the YG, half of them got indicted. DOA, half of them are in jail. K5 being the biggest one. 
there's only a couple of drivers from DOA that are consistent that can really go up, set the trend, and whoever he with, he's not consistent or none of that. But like O Wise, Didi Osama, and Sugar Hill rejuvenated themselves and they have a whole bunch of new rappers going up. He don't fuck with them. I don't know what him and Sugar Hill's relationship is right now. He's OG's K now, B Love, Shy K, and we all know all the goons and everybody else that rap. They're like, they got, they got. From the hit makers on their side, and then four one Kyle Rich, Jen Carter, Tata, D Bills. He just blackballed himself from there. So he's really EBK, bro. It's super hard to to do that, especially when you can't collab with nobody or nothing. You feel me? Gotta get it. You gotta go and find nine one seven racks to make a song with him and shit like that. No disrespect to nine one seven racks, but those are two guys that are both on the come up. Like he doesn't really have someone behind him that has a hit maker or has million view, millions of views. I know he has a million views himself. He got the D&D song, whatnot. But it's gonna be super hard for him to get it out the mucks. He really gotta get it out the mucks. He got no one to clap. But shout out Blockwork, this was fine.